confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed, found in your hearts and minds, and on the pew cards are on page 104 of the ELW. We believe, we believe in one God, God the Father and the Almighty, maker of the heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God for God, light for light, true God for true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He is the same to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. In joy and wonder, we pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Dwell among your people and fill the church with your wisdom, O God, for you are the light of life. As a beacon, lead your church in the ways of righteousness that through the Holy Spirit it may lead others out of darkness and into the light of your goodness. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. May every season work for your good purpose. Send sun and rain, warmth and chill, in due measure to draw forth your bounty from the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Journey with all refugees and displaced persons, especially Syrians and those who seek asylum. Grant courage and a sense of your presence to all who face persecution for their faith in you. Guide political leaders in the ways of your peace and treasure of human life, so that all people may live in security, free from oppression and with dignity. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Be a sure defense and refuge to all whose lives are threatened by pain, personal crisis, persistent fear, or illness. Give them relief from hardship and restoring rest when they are weary. We pray especially for Carol Johnson and the grieving families and friends of Timmy Gleason, Arlene Dreyer, and Pierre Boa. Those who are named on our prayer list in our hearts or on our lips. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. As you have blessed and adopted us as your children in the waters of baptism, so bless James Bale, who will be baptized this morning. Support his parents, sponsors, and family members and friends as they raise him in knowledge and faith in you. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Bless the ministries of the ELCA, Metro New York Synod, on our Emmanuel Congregation, that we will be the light shining in the darkness to those in our communities in need of hope. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Grant rest, renewal, inspiration, and safe travels to the pastors of the Tappan Sea Conference as they retreat at Koinonia this week. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Assure our troops of your presence wherever they are serving and strengthen families during time of deployment, sustaining them as loved ones return with the visible and invisible wounds of war. Bless the work of all military chaplains. Comfort the family and friends of Jacob and the three other soldiers killed in Afghanistan this week. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Giving thanks that the saints who now dwell with you in the fullness of your kingdom, we ask you to keep us faithful to your truth revealed in Christ until you make all things new. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Almighty God, we entrust to you all for whom we pray, <laughs> confident that you fulfill your promises. Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, maker of heaven and earth, 
The Word made flesh, the Lord and giver of life. Amen. Let us come into the light of Christ, confessing our need for God's mercy. God of peace, we confess that we are not at peace with others or with ourselves. We bring to you all that tears us apart, the discord in our families, violence in our world, our own conflicted hearts. In your mercy and in us, we connect us to one another and to you. Let peace reign over all the earth through the Prince of Peace, our Savior Jesus Christ. In the word who has come to dwell with us, God has given us grace upon grace, forgiveness that is stronger than our sins, love that can heal every broken heart. Hear this word of God's pardon and peace. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, you are free from all your sins. Rise, shine, for your light has come. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Share the peace with one another.